Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do a braided updo. And in this video, I'm going to have a special guest. So stay tuned. <music> All right, so starting off this style, I am going to be sectioning her hair into two sections, and we are working with blow dried hair. So I'm going to be starting off with a braid that is going to be closest to her ear, just separating the first two sections and then laying that down with some edge control. So as I started, you know, definitely want to make sure that you get the straight. You want to make sure that you get the part as straight as possible and also smooth the hairs down. So I'm starting with three sections with her natural hair and I'm beginning to braid. So I'm just going to take a small piece of the extension here and just add that in there like so. So we've zoomed in just a little bit so that you guys can see the process closer. I do a couple stitches. And then I go in with another piece of the extension. Now you definitely want to make sure that your extensions and braiding hair is close by, easy to reach. That way you don't have to let go of the braid every time. You can have one hand holding on while the other hand grabs a small section of the extension to add into the braid. So you're just going to be doing that until you get to the end of the braid. Also starting with smaller sections of the extensions and then working your way up to a little bit bigger, um, just as big as you or the or your client would want, you, want the braids to be. It's really up to them. So I didn't braid it all the way down because I didn't wanna leave the hair out for the final look. So I just braided it about three quarters of a way down and then I start on the next braid. So I'm gonna speed this up a little bit just to show you guys how I kinda go through the back. Now this style I actually really love for summer because of course it gets burning, burning hot and you don't want all that hair on your neck. So this is the perfect style to keep your hair in a really cute updo, but it's also a protective style as well. So definitely going to protect those ends. So again, I'm doing the same with the next, uh, with the next few sections going in with my edge control just to lay those down. And the edge control that I'm using is is by uh, Bella Products. It's the certified Bella Pomade. This stuff was actually amazing. It held the hair really well. Like I said, this is only on blow dried hair, so her hair was not pressed at all. And uh, the edge control actually did a really, really great job in slipping all the hairs back and just making sure that everything was laid. Um, now, I'm gonna be honest, you know, this is not your average beauty supply you know two dollar edge control this was a little bit on the pricey side but after doing the full head with it i could definitely say that it was worth the price so now i'm moving into the top section um, i was just doing a couple parts just to kind of see how i wanted the front to look so i did start off with it kind of slanting to the beginning of her ear and then going towards the back where the ponytail will gather and just going through the whole top of her head like so. Now the front, you can definitely make any kind of design that you'd like or you know that your client would like that you think is creative. Um, she just wanted it, well first she wanted it to go all the, all, just all back, but I decided to um, add them going to the side a little bit just to make a little bit of a design and not have it too boring, just going straight back. So with these braids, you definitely want to, of course, make sure that you're not pulling too tight, not adding too much tension. And um, that's why I really like the pomade or the edge control that I used because I didn't really have to put a whole lot of tension to make the braids 
you know, lay down and make it so that they look neat. Um, the pomade really helped with that. This whole style took me about an hour to do. It would have been faster, I feel like, if I had been a little bit more organized in terms of the braiding hair and also kind of having exactly how I wanted her front to be. But for this style to only take an hour, I think that that is really, really good. And as I mentioned, you know, I'm definitely not a professional braider at all. So I feel like anyone can do this with just a little bit of practice. You will have a really, really cute hairstyle for the summer. So going ahead and I'm finishing up her very last braid. Again, just braiding it about three quarters down and leaving the rest unbraided. Now, of course, you could go ahead and braid it, but I wanted to leave it out so that when it went in the ponytail, the hair was loose and gave it a little bit more of a natural style. So this is the final look. This is how it looked when I put all of the hair up in a bun. As you can see, the hair is off her neck in the back. And I was just putting a bit of makeup on, you know, just to bring the whole look together. All right, so this is the final look, you guys. Again, this is something that only took an hour. Thank you so much to my mom for letting me do this style on her. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like this video. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time.